Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing on GameCube or Animal Crossing Population Growing. Now you are joining me on the train in Animal Crossing um, in the middle of designing a phase for Blanca because we were going from Mori Lane to Mori Land and my Elgato crashed and I lost like half an hour worth of recording and I can't seem to find it anywhere so um, yes we have basically a picture of Rover's face which is really really cool um, so <laughs> that turned out even better than I imagined doesn't really look like Rover does it but I thought we'd continue because seeing Blanca as Rover in a weird kind of way it's just unmissable. So we are on the train. Sorry about that. I don't really know. You didn't miss anything. Basically, it's sale day and all Nook had on offer was three shirts, which is why we were heading to Mori Land to see if there's a sale day there or some more items uh, to buy, basically. So welcome back. Um, sorry about that little technical issue, but we are on the train heading to Moriland, so are you all done? <laughs> yes, um, this, that was gonna be a really cool time lapse as well of me drawing uh, Rover's face from the uh, from our design book that we've got. Are you all done? I don't know, it kinda seems like you just scribbled something down. This took like 20 minutes, which may or may not be why uh, the capture card crashed, but who knows. Um, but face beggars can't be face choosers, I suppose. I'll have to do me for a little while. Uh, so thanks, I guess. Uh, you're welcome, Rover slash Blanca. Just let me remind you, I'm not out of the ordinary. There's nothing funny at all about me, really. Um, well, we're almost in Moriland. See you. Well, bye, Blanca. It's a shame we're never going to see you again. We, we put a lot of effort into that Rover face. It's a real shame that I won't be able to show the time lapse of it. It was much like the God's one we did. It took about 15 or 20 minutes to make that. Um, and I kind of regret not being able to save it to our design kind of portal as well. Mori Land, now arriving at Mori Land. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. Sorry about the random start to the episode. Um, but yeah, you just kind of missed. We got a green balloon from our Tom Nook um, in honor of sale day, but there was only three shirts for sale, which was kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, that is pretty much all. Uh, oh yes, and we got the fossils as well. So we're, we're in Mori Land um, to check to see if there is a sale day here. And if there is, or if there isn't, we will, will be able to buy some flowers, hopefully. Okay, there's not a sale day because I think we're too early in this town. Uh, so it's just a normal shopping day. So at least we've been able to bust a myth. The sale day is different in every town. It's kind of randomly generated each month, I imagine. Uh, hey, Tom Nook. Or maybe it's in relation to when we actually started the town. But at least we've got some stuff to buy. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, welcome, Timmy and Tommy. Hey. Oh, we've got an owl clock. got a kitty wardrobe. A painting, which I think we already have, and a big rock. This is a different rock. A stone couple. Does that interest you? We offer that 2,380 bells. Good price. Yes, we'll take that. Um, that will be for our room. We must be close to completing the rock collection, which will, will actually benefit our happy room score. I think we have this, don't we? Uh, what painting is this? Does the rare painting interest you? Yeah, it's not that rare, is it? But... We'll buy it. It's not that rare if we bought it like three times. Oh, you don't seem to have enough money. Oops. That's okay. We can sell our fossils. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of all over the place now because I've got to uh, kind of do this episode again. We don't need the blue chair. We just got that from the dump. Um, it's a real shame when uh, footage gets lost. But luckily... You didn't miss anything too much and you, at least you got to see Rover's face uh, on Blanca. Uh, oh, there's the cube shirt again. Um, do we need any of these shirts? The number seven shirt we might need. Let's see the catalog real quick. Um, I want to have a look at the paintings. To see if that is the rare one. Yeah, we've got the rare one. Oh, we can buy it again. How weird. We can buy the paintings again. So there's no point in buying it. So we've got the classic rare, strange, and worthy paintings. Right, shirt-wise. Um, let's see if we can notice any that we need. The seven sh ball shirt. I think it was a different seven shirt, wasn't it? Um, so far. Oh, that's that shirt. So we don't need the flicker shirt. And... 
can't remember what the other shirts were. 67. I think we might need the number 7 shirt there. G shirt. Oh no, it's a 7. That's a, that is definitely a 7 ball shirt, isn't it? So we don't need that. The number 3 shirt. Do we need a number 3 shirt? Sorry, we're just checking. We don't want to waste our bells, really. Um... These are the numbers in the balls, aren't they? Where are the just the normal number shirts? Okay, so we need the we need the three shirt. And I'm pretty sure we need the kitty wardrobe behind us as well. So we'll buy this shirt. The number three shirt! Yes, we'll take that please. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't crash again. Not sure why I did that. Sometimes computers just do what they want to do, don't they? Kitty wardrobe. I think we need this. So we're going to buy that up as well. And is this a ranch chair? Oh, it's just a simple writing chair. We'll buy that. I don't know if we have this owl clock either, actually. So buy that too. We won't need to keep many of this stuff, to be honest. Um, the shirt can go. The stone couple we're going to keep. The rest can be sold back. There we go. Um, and we'll just check. While we're here, we might as well check the carpets as well. A green rug. No, we have that one. We literally have that in our house, so we won't be needing that. A plaza tile. I'm going to start buying up the carpets because I do think... We spend more time buying furniture, don't we? A classic carpet. Have we... I don't know about that. There we go. Oh, we don't have much money left. Oh, well. I wonder if we could withdraw our own money from someone else's town. I imagine we still have access. Like, a post office is a post office, isn't it? I imagine we still have access. We seem to have an eye on a stone wall. Uh, you seem to have an eye on a blue wall. No, we've had the blue wall. I think. Oh no, was that the blue tile wall? Um, maybe we do need the blue wall. Let's have a look at it. No, that's the one we ha we have had, haven't we? Okay, that'll do. Right, I do want to make a point of starting buying up diaries as well. The red poker pad! Oh, we have to have the citrus umbrella as well. Or the orange umbrella. <laughs> it's super cute! So we're going to put that in there. Swap our things around. Okay, at least coming to Moriland was worth the trip. Just to get the stone. That was good. Pretty sure it's not the one we've got. We do have a big one, but I don't think it's... I think the big one we have is covered in moss. Uh, so at least we can buy up some flowers to plant today. We do have a few dropped outside of our house. Um, yeah. So I'm just glad that things seem to be working now. The technical difficulties seem to come out of nowhere. Oh no! I've just realised I sent Carly a... Um, <laughs> I sent It's Me Carly a lovely dresser, but I didn't write the password down because I thought I captured it. But then we lost the footage, so there's a, a, a dresser, a lovely dresser out in the void somewhere. Oh dear. Right, we'll leave the shovel for today. 
Right, okay. Do we want to steal some pears and some... What's the other one we need? Oranges and pears. Hmm. So, so weedy in this town. So many weeds! Right, Winnie has apparently moved here. So, let's go and see what Winnie has to say. Because um, every time we visit this town, Winnie, uh, not Winnie, but a villager moves. Oh, I wonder if there's any, uh... no, I wonder if there's any treasure hunts or anything. We've got a couple things here. A lefty desk. An owl clock <laughs> that we just bought. Right, this should be Winnie's house. No, that's Graf's house. Oh, Winnie, hey! Haha, ah, I bet you totally didn't expect to find me here, did you? I moved here just a little while ago and I've been waiting to see when you'd notice me. I'm hoping it won't be too rough getting used to life in this town, but I'm not too worried. Uh, anyway, what's up? Uh, I don't know, could you give us a job to send back to Maury Lane? Or are you going to give us a job in this town? I do have something. No, I'm lying. Oh, okay. I thought you might give us something to return. Right. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. We just wanted to check the shop. We could... Have we seen Gulliver in this town already? Let's do a little beach run while we're here. It's so hard to remember where what we've done in each town. We'll do a little beach run though. It's funny that we can't erect signs in other people's towns, by the way, but we can take them down. Which is always weird. It should be the other way around. You, you can't take them down, but you can put them up. No, Gulliver. Right, I think we've got there's a pokeball design here. I'm gonna just grab this and the Pikmin design, and we can put them in our storage in our new town. So this is the pokeball. Uh, yes, uh, I'm sure. Thing, I like to call that design the pokeball. Can I help you with it? I want it. If you end up with more than eight designs, you'll have to get rid of one. Uh, sure. Uh, so what do you want to put this design? We'll put it here for now. Let's uh, let's put it in the blank spot there. Isn't it great when you finally get a pattern that really speaks to you? It's like coming home. We we'll take this one as well, please. The pick one. These are the ones we've got from e-reader cards in the past, so we may as well um, may as well take them. Mm. And now, we have these three designs from e-reader cards. This is the fence we made, this is the uh, Godzilla we made, and it's a shame we couldn't keep the rover design we gave Blanca right at the start of the episode. Or halfway through the lost episode that it will forever be known as. Um, but we'll have to draw it again, because it would make kind of a funny door plate. Right, I would say we'll get the money rock, but do you know what? I don't know where all the rocks are in this town. So... We may as well head back. Winnie's happy? I'm glad Winnie's happy. Don't think we need anything else from here. 
Okay, let's head back to Mori Lane, where it's not raining today, by the way, for a change. Are you leaving? Yes, I'm leaving. What a shame. It feels like you only just got here. Well, give me a moment. Uh, the next train should be arriving any minute now. So let's get you ready for departure. Thank you, Porter. Uh, we'll head back to our town. Luckily, it was the capture card that crashed and not the GameCube. Because then we would have to deal with Mr. Rossetti. Uh, I don't think there's any need to deal with Mr. Rossetti in this game unless you reset. You don't get anything from it. Like, you don't unlock any items or... Other than the unique experience, but he does talk a lot in this game. So if we ever did encounter Mr. Rossetti, it goes on and on and on and on. Uh, take care, farewell, have a nice trip. Thank you, Porter. Okay, I don't think we'll meet Blanca again. I can't imagine you can meet her twice in a row. Um, so we'll head back to Moriland now. Okay, we have made it. Safe and sound back to Mori Lane where it's not raining. And we can get back to the proper video. Uh, thank you, Porter. So at least we've got a bunch of uh, flowers to plant. Let's see. Um... Let's empty our pockets and try and keep up with... Everything. We'll put these here. Right, we'll do all the flowers in a second. Let's go and put this um, stone upstairs. See if we've got room for it. Hopefully we have. And it's just double check it's not the one we've already got. No, it's not the one we've already got. That's good. Um, yes, yeah, so I think the time has come to... We might have to get rid of these lanterns. We'll just tidy them up for the moment and just see where we are with the rocks. I might have to move... Oops, I can't get behind the rock. <laughs> might have to move this down here. And then... Stone couple. So we've got... One, two, three, four, five. That seems uh, reasonable. Let's move this up here, like so. These are so, there's so many, um, these rocks are so big. Um, actually, do you know what? Let's try and move things around a little bit again. There we go. I want to... Hmm. It's hard to know how to balance these rocks. We might have to move... Let's put this... We might have to move... This little one to the back here. Leaning stone. I'm just trying to balance them out a little more. Oh, there we go. That works okay, I think. Yeah, so it still creates quite a bit of space. But we've now got one, two, three, four, five. Surely that's the complete collection. There might be six. I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure that can, is classed as a full, a full furniture set. It's a shame we can't put the lamps in here. I think the lamps would make it too messy. I mean, yeah, we could get away with it still. If we get another rock though, that's gonna be it, I think. We'll leave them in there for now. We don't have to make the decision now. And if we don't sell them, we've still got them for a little while. 
Uh, but there we go. Okay. Right. So I guess it's down to some flowers. I've already found a golden spot, unfortunately. Um, and planted that. Alright, so we've got Cosmos, Cosmos, Cosmos. Pansy, we like to sort out the flowers before we go ahead and plant them because then we just know how much we're dealing with. Tulip, Tulip, Cosmos, no pansies today. Tulip. Two pansies, okay. Well, we need those for the hill. So we'll go here. Oh, we can fit another one in there. There we go. So I think that's the hill completed, apart from just two pansies there. Oh my goodness, gyroids. We're going to get a lot of gyros between now and the middle of July because it is rainy. The, coming to, the rainy season comes to the end, so we're getting a few more rainy days. Um, we'll head over this side of town. Oh, I wonder who we've got that moved in. Hugh, Olivia, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, no one's moved in yet. In place of Winnie. Okay, we may as well. Do we want to extend it here? Do we want to start planting stuff here? I don't know if we can plant anything here. No. This is going to be a big path here. I think we're going to have to put a row of tulips going down the path. Starting to line this up here. I don't think we can get any more. Can we get one here? It's so hard to tell if we can get one there. Yep, we can. I think we can. The best way to tell is if we if we can dig a spot there. Wow, it looks so it looks too close to the cliff almost, doesn't it? So our path's going to come over this bush and this way, I think, as well as down here. I think we're going to have to just bring it through this tree, you know, and just leave a gap for the rock. What I would like to do, actually, is plant, plant a tree here and get rid of this tree. Um, let's do that. And then that way we can just leave a gap for the, the rock there and focus on bringing the path down here. Um, yeah, we'll come back to that. Oh, I wonder if we should put some sign, some stuff out here. Uh, shall I post the design? Yes, let's post up the... Tunic. The Pokeball. And the Pikmin. Because it kind of is like a, an advertising board for the Able Sisters, isn't it? Right, let's uh, see if we can track down this money rock. I think we're going to go ahead and plant some more peaches today as well. Is that a new... It might...
might be some new dragonflies as well. Uh, what errand have you at the wishing well of Maury Lane? How are things? Everything is perfect. Maury Land is a very livable place. I think that... Is that the perfect score? Do we just have to wait a couple of weeks now? Maybe it's not a good idea to start planting trees. Oh no, this one didn't survive. The, uh... This is... <laughs> This is the, the plaza acre. Where did we plant the other one? It was over this side, wasn't it? Oh, neither of them survived. I guess the plaza acre is just too big. We've only we've literally only got two trees in this acre. Oh! Check it out, I've got a modern end table. Oh, that's right, there's a treasure hunt. Oops. Oh, finally a balloon! Except we can't... We can't catch it. We just, we just have to hope it goes into a tree. Get stuck in the tree! Yes! Finally! Finally an actual, another balloon. Shake. There we go. We haven't had a balloon present. This is only our second balloon present in like 40 episodes nearly. What did we get? We got... A peach! <laughs> of, of all the fruit we need, we got one that we already had. That's okay. We can go ahead and plant it without upsetting this one here. So, do you know what? We need some tree. We need some in the lake acre. So I'm wondering if we should go ahead and... Try and plant some here. The villagers like to stand here, so that's why I'm thinking it won't grow here. What about this one? Uh, it's a little higher up if we do it here, maybe. It doesn't matter if it doesn't grow. We've got a peach tree already. So we'll try. At least we've done one peach today. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be finding the money rock, aren't we? Nice to see this tree grew right by the fence. We should start putting designs on these design boards. I think I'm going to just start putting Godzilla everywhere. <laughs> Stay out! Yes, there's some rocks over here. Right, are we going to have enough time? We're a little bit of an angle, so it takes slightly longer than it usually does. Can we get the last one? Yes! We got a full rock. Full money rock, thanks to our feng shui. We only have two green tiles left, so we are pretty much at maximum feng shui for money. So we've got two, there we go, I was trying to see where it was, we've got two 10,000 bell bags. Uh, oops. I didn't, did we get a, I didn't know we could get fruit from balloons, I'm trying to think what we got last time, is that what we got last time as well? Clearly I wasn't paying much attention. So eventually we're going to join these tulips up to these tulips here. But it's nice to start making kind of the entrance to a new path. But it doesn't look like we've got a travelling character today. Only the sale is going on. In this town. I don't want to plant too many trees. 
in fears of messing with the uh, town rating. Right, what dragonflies have we got? I think I saw a stripy one earlier. Dana and Common. I don't think that's one that we need. The fossils are pretty much only good for selling now. If anyone needs one though, let me know and we can I can send it to you or I can try. Olivia, hey. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry right now. Oh, oh, my mistake. It's Maury. Uh, I thought you were going to hit on me or ask me for a favor. Seems like uh, just to be as popular with the boys and girls alike, you know. Everyone wants to be my friend. Ah, sometimes it's just too much. Uh, enough idle chit chat. Do, did you need something from me? Uh, do you need any help at all? Uh, you always show up uh, just when I'm thinking about you, Maury. Ah, so you were thinking about us. Will you really help me? In that case, can you please go to Hugh's house and get my handkerchief? Hughes borrows stuff and then never returns it. Beware of that scoundrel. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that pretty quickly. Hugh lives just over here. Oh, wait. Did we know you lived here? Tabby, that's my name. No reason to beat around the bush. And you're Maury, right? That's your name. Well, super to meet you, Maury. I like Tabby. Uh, Tabby's got a cool out default outfit in this game. I know, where's Hugh? Oh, there you are. Uh, I'm starving! If I don't get some food in me, I'm gonna flip my wig! Yeah, we, we're here for a, a hanky chief. I don't want it if it's used. Oh, weak! I didn't mean for you to have to come over on behalf of Olivia. Well, in any case, here's the handkerchief. Don't forget to return it. Do you know what I've noticed this as well? We haven't had many chores where you have to just keep going to the next villager and then the next villager and then the next villager until you find it. So I wonder if that's a feng shui factor as well. So the better feng shui you have, the more easier the chores are with the villagers, maybe? Uh, here's a delivery for you. Uh, you actually got it back for me, Maury. Thanks so much. I'd like to give you this stationery for your effort. That's okay. We could use that to send some... Uh... Oh, let's see through paper. Send some stuff to the museum. Still some gyroids around here somewhere though. Those are hey! Love the fact that you're rocking the Godzilla shirt. Mori, it seems like you normally come talk to me about this time. Hey, no, it's not like I mind or anything. Knock yourself out. So what do you need? Uh, do you need anything? Uh, if only you'd gone here soon, I did have something, but now I don't. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna steal your gyroid. Oh, it's a fossil. Mm. I was kind of hope. Oh, there's another one. I was kind of trying to will it to be a gyro. Not that we need it anymore, but. Um. Is there any hit hiding around here? Oh, oh! I just scared off. Uh, I think it was a jewel beetle. Yeah, we don't want to plant trees while we're working on a perfect town, I don't think. So the ones that are that we've planted now will just have to leave. As long as we keep up with the um, weeding and planting of flowers and stuff, we should be good. Actually, does that mean we can get... Okay, we need a couple more tulips up here as well. The cliffs are deceiving, aren't they? 
Hey, Mallory. Uh, Maury, you seem awfully busy the, uh, most of the time. I can't help but think it's bad for you. You can't keep your nose on the grindstone all of the time. You have to enjoy life more. Uh, you really enjoy life? Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, but let's get right to the point. Give me a job. Let me think. No, I'm afraid uh, I've done everything worth doing. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not wandering around aimlessly, by the way. I'm trying to find the other gyroid. Or another fossil. <laughs> There's one, at least one more gyroid and one more fossil somewhere. Hiding. Actually, there was one by the post office. I seem to remember. Oh, good. These two trees are growing. That was in our C4 acre. So we now have um, that. And actually, this one in this acre is growing as well, isn't it? We put one in here. So... All the sea acres, are, apart from the plaza acre, are up to 12 as well. So that must... Oh, there's, there's, there's the dragonfly I saw. So all the sea acres are up to where they need to be, and that's probably what's given us the perfect town. No, he's getting away by running into it. Oh. Whoa, you are fast. Wow. I don't think we're going to catch those... That bug. What were we doing? We were going to the post office, weren't we? These grab bags, by the way, we stole from Mori Land. Um, I'm just going to start putting random designs around town. Not for any other reason than it's cool. Okay, so that's the last gyro. There is one more fossil hiding somewhere, though. So what have we got here? Tall sproid, puff, tall puffoid. Squat Nebloid. So the question is, when are we going to start a new house? Because I don't want it to feel like we're giving up on Maury's house, but we do desperately need to unlock the basement so we can shift these gyroids. Oh, Tangy's wearing the uh, Pokeball shirt. Hey, wait a second. Uh, where are you going? Bye, gum, I'm making it my business. Sneaking around like that with a wicked little grin on your face. You're up to something I can just tell. Uh... When you do anything, you better let me know first. Well, I guess you, like, don't have to, but it sure would be funny for me. Well, I guess we could, we have to let Tangy know. Can I help in any way? How come you always show up when I've got nothing for you to do, Maury? What is with these villagers today? Nice shirt, Hopper. Okay, we're officially on the hunt for that, uh, that dragonfly now. Oh, there it is. There's the last fossil. How did I not see that? Oh, no, it's not the last fossil. We've only got four. There's one more fossil somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. We haven't got this beetle, I don't think. Um, let's see. Wow, it's a jewel beetle, it's gorgeous. I wonder how much I could get for it. I don't know. We're more interested in giving it to the museum. Is it new? Yes, it is new. This wasn't here a second ago. Right, so now we just need to track down that other dragonfly that goes so quick. It's just going to be lucky if we run into it, I think. So we're just going to have to keep running around until we find it and hope that we might catch it. I don't think they spawn near flowers or anything. I think it's just random. Eventually, we'll use these for things like fossil pictures and other things. I wonder if we can just keep going in and out of acres. No. Doesn't really work, does it? You have to be quite far away from it, I think, to respawn another bug. Yeah, I forgot what I've said in the in the 
start of the episode that got lost and what I haven't said again. But I did mention that we will move on to um, New Leaf and New Horizons at some point. But I definitely don't want to abandon this just yet. Because I do want to reach some of the big milestones. Like, for example, I wouldn't be the first creator to reach a billion bells, but I probably would be the second or third to do it legitimately by playing. But that we'd have to constantly play the turnip market. But with feng shui, it's possible. I don't know how it works, though, with having good feng shui in Mori's house. If we set up another player, is it just Mori's profile? So would we have to start the day every day as Mori? To, in order to trigger good turnip prices, or does it affect everybody? Are we going to be able to put Godzilla behind here? <laughs> okay, I don't know if we're going to find this dragonfly. Do they fly near water? I think it might just be random in this game. Butterfly down there. If we see the bug in the acre, we can just move on. How quick can we press it if we need to? We can be pretty quick. to see that tree is growing. Yeah, I wish there was a, a, a faster way to get plants as well, because if we're going with planting flowers every day as well, it's going to take a long time to fill this town. But we've, we've made a good dent in it. Another common butterfly. I think that was a longhorn beetle. Drone beetle, we've got you. Is that like a Dana? Or something. Common butterfly. Oh, this is taking longer than I thought it would. I guess we're just going to have to go until we accidentally bump into it. Otherwise, we're just run, running around for no apparent reason. We'll just run this little bit, get back to our house. And I think that is all we'll have time for today. We're definitely not going to random. It's just going to, we're just going to have to go about our business. And then if we stumble across the dragonfly um, when we're playing, maybe we'll catch it. We've got all summer to get it, I'm sure. Oh, I think that might have even been a different cicada, that one. Sounded different. Ah, oh, not the right dragonfly. See, this is a good acre to do because there's not many trees. Although we could see ladybirds on the flowers. No, I give up. <laughs> we'll try and track it down just by randomly stumbling across it. But there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Um, I'm sorry the first half of the episode got lost. Um, you didn't miss much apart from sale day, which I was kind of looking forward to. But it was only three shirts anyway. It was a bit of a weird sale day. Um, I think we needed one or two of them. Um, so I bought them. But then I spent most of the time drawing Rover's face on Blanca which unfortunately we lost the process of it, but we were able to, by the time I looked back 
uh, after done the design that the thing had crashed so he did lose it but you got to see the design and on uh, Blanka's face anyway so it's kind of kind of cool I'm glad you got to see it but let me know what you think of this episode sorry it's a little bit shorter than usual but we've kind of done everything we need to do today I hope you enjoyed it anyway thank you for making it to the end and of course more importantly a huge shout out to the channel members um, and thank you for supporting the channel and everything you do I uh, couldn't do it without you, so a huge shout out to you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.